Well, I looked at the boat ramp online. It's Friday, and we've got those cameras at the boat ramp. So I looked at them online and actually saw a rainbow. Can't see the wind, of course, at the boat ramp. That's not good. But I looked at the uh, boat ramp and saw a big rainbow. The rain has finally stopped this morning on Friday. It is nine o'clock in the morning. And I'm gonna go test these uh, Iowa beef sticks for you. I'm gonna go see if I can bend one. Blue sky. I can tell you, woo, this rod probably isn't for everybody. The butt is shorter than a, like a tiger, tiger rod, ugly stick, tiger stick, ugly stick, tiger. And if you're so used to a trigger, then this ain't for you. Because I do this, I grip my reel. And then, most likely, I'll go up here to the foregrip. But as far as action is concerned, I got a two ounce lead on right now. And it's got a, it's got a nice tip, kind of like the, the tiger rod that I thought. Ugly stick tiger. But it doesn't have a long butt. The ugly stick tiger's got the long butt with the gimbal in it. So, even for me, it's a little getting used to bottom fishing, but that's okay. I don't mind it. There's the bend. I just got a two ounce lead and a shrimp on it right now. Well, it 
It's hard to even stand up out uh, in the boat out here. I got this swells coming this way or whatever the hell it is. Chop. And all I'm doing is getting croaker bit. And then I chop. See you later. See you later. <laughs> I chopped the croaker piece, put it down, and then the croakers ate the croaker. So, it was a croaker about that big. That's all I've caught so far. Not a real good bend in the old rod. The standing up on the boat out here is not for the average person. Believe me, I know. So I don't know what I'm gonna do here. More rain out to the east. This is some truly crazy weather. Now it's overcast, looking like it's gonna rain. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, you just may have to see it bend on this. different but there's the first real bend all right mangrove snapper I don't even know how big these things need to be they're thick down there this ain't putting a real bend in the rod. Whew, is it gonna rain or what the hell is it gonna do here? Pitching out there behind the back of the boat with two ounces. I do all I can to use the light amount of lightest amount of amazes me how these guys can swim in this current with that little dinky tail. A smooth puffer. You know what? I know what it is now. This is my eight foot uh, ugly stick tiger two piece. I glued it together and this rod is what really reminds me of this. Not the regular bottom or, you know, heavy rods. They would refer to this ugly stick as, I believe, 
as a downrigger rod. But, see? See that there? That's what it sort of reminds me of. This has got a much shorter grip on it than a regular Tiger. And it's really a, a light action. I mean, serious light action. This ugly stick, eight footer. I mean, look at this. Look at that. I mean, that thing is bending like there's no tomorrow. Thing. This is what the Daiwa sort of reminds me of. So, there you go. I knew it was something, and I just couldn't put my finger on it. But this is my top water mega caster. I learned that if I'm going to throw plugs or top waters or whatever from a boat like mine, where I'm not up on the bow or a big old casting deck, even though I got a giant casting deck, I never go up there. I never cast from there hardly. <laughs> I'm always back here. And then, of course, my top and everything. So I needed maximum maximum casting distance. So I went to this eight footer. And I can sling a plug a country mile and it's light enough that hey it catches a hundred pound black tip. Remember the black tip video? That was this. That was this right here. Ugly stick tiger, eight foot, with that Daiwa Ryoga on it. That's what the guy caught the 100 pound black tip on. Look at that tip. So, uh, hey, Orawak. bigger cabin on it just went by me monster monster parker i can tell by the the parker uh emblem on the stern the twin yamahas on it that's what you need brother up your way that's what you need so you can go on the outside And I'm going home because the tide slowed down and I could have sat there and just whacked if you know what I mean one catfish and pinfish after another because what I was looking for was either a bull red up shallow because I'm not going to go sit out there in the 40 feet of water or whatever I'm not doing that. I was hoping to go, you know, to the jetties. And, and or yellowmouth trout. I didn't find either. Not a big day for stretching the new rod. But I hope you enjoyed the jetty footage at least. It got so bad there I could hardly stand up. So, I'm going home and putting her on the trailer. It's 2 o'clock. I was out here at 9.30. That's enough fun for one day. That's the reason I don't try to do charters and small craft cautions or 15 knots and above. Because, I mean, it's just, you're just spinning your wheels out here. So... I try not to do it. I'm just 
not going to take anybody just in just a absolute bullshit weather. I mean, especially a regular. Regular customer. I'll see you back on the hill.